Hey turkeys! Let's talk about dudes. Fucking dudes, man. And fucking dudes. Let's talk about it. I found myself in a, in a weird predicament wherein I uh, was having to deal with two different guys at the same time doing the exact same thing. The reason I wanted to call this video Dudes and the Frustration of Right Now is because um, sometimes guys think that they're being nice by saying, I understand that you don't want to be in a relationship right now. And I just want to talk about the subtle manipulation of men and how they don't even, I think they realize that they're doing it sometimes. They just do it. So let me just say really quick as an aside, the reason I wanted to make this video wasn't even because of either one of these guys. It was because I saw something that I felt like was a sign from the universe that my struggle was not uncommon. I was walking through Walmart and I'm fucking going off on this guy. Like this guy that right here, I'm like literally like, I do not go off on people. I was, tr I was trying to figure out why I was so frustrated with him. Pussy was bleeding. I saw this young black lady like maybe she couldn't have been older than 25 and she was leading her two daughters and she was like she had one by one arm and the other one was like holding the hand of the other one and they were really fat but the girl was like tiny petite like me she looked cute but like the girls were just like really fat little girls like they weren't like instagram cute kids she she looked so frustrated and so upset that they were like fat and that she's having to look for like fucking food in this Walmart to feed them. But then I realized why I was so frustrated because I was that lady leading these two fat kids, these two dudes, through this Walmart as I'm trying to like find what I need to try and weirdly satisfy them. And I don't have fucking time for that because I'm young, I'm gay, I have AIDS, I'm new in town. So th this is what the guy said to me. I'm gonna break it down bit by bit. I'm gonna kind of explain specifically why I called it the myth of right now. This is this is one of the things he said. Gotcha. Last thing I want to do is appear to be like those other dudes to you. So I'll fall back. But I would like to. But, but, eh, wrong. Immediate no. But. I would like to get to know you in the future. You're really funny and seem to have a dope ass personality. And I literally like said to him like, just fucking stop. You know how many people, you know how many people I've met that I have not even met in real life, we're only friends on Facebook that I think are interesting that I would love to get to know. And I'm not double, triple, quadruple messaging them over the course of a weekend and try and hang out. No, it's bullshit. You want to have sex with me. It's okay. I don't want to, but you can't, you can't, um, uh, feign intentions or, or conceal your intentions or say that you just want to get to know me. No. Bullshit. You want to see my titties. They are great, admittedly, and I get it, but no. God no. And then just like, again, I'm not one of these thirsty guys trying to fuck. I really want to take you out on an actual date. I know that's foreign to our generation, but I'm old school. No, you're not. You're literally, if you were old school, you'd have driven out of my house. You'd have written me a fucking letter. Don't fucking tell me through Facebook, man. Don't tell me through, like, Snapchat that you're old school and that you, you know, listen to 50s R&B because it means nothing to me because you're already sliding in the DMs like every other shitty millennial I know. I like drive-in movies over Netflix and chill. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean to me? Why does that matter to me? Patrol and Facebook for ass shit is old. A nigga too old for that shit. I said the N word without even thinking about it. Oh shit. Oh my god. And the reason why the reason why I wanted to to read those messages was not to be mean. What guys don't understand 
when you go into a woman's inbox and you say things like, oh, I'm not like other guys, oh, I get it, you don't want to be in a relationship right now, but I promise, I'm not just looking for ass, I really want to get to know you. Every guy that I've ever fucked who fucked me over and hurt my fucking feelings and embarrassed me out here said that exact same shit in the beginning. So do not think for a second that you are the first person to say that. Why would you think that that isn't the go-to line for every fuckboy that's trying to fuck? That is exactly what they say. So if you are out there and you're an actual nice guy trying to like get to know women, just know you are not going to get to know us by telling us how different you are. Because when you say to us how different you are, all you're doing is doing the same shit that everybody else is doing. Like no shit. It's, it's crazy. It's literally ridiculous. I'm going to tell you the most frustrating thing that guys do, nice guys. At this point, when I hear it, I see it as a red flag. I see it as you're not listening. I see it as you aren't being honest about what your intentions are. You aren't being honest about what you want from me. I understand, you know, you don't you don't want to be in a relationship right now, and that's fine with me. I just I just want to get to know you. No, 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 no. Don't ever say right now. Don't put a time frame on this. Don't put a time stamp on this pussy because it's not going to fucking work. When I say, listen, I'm not looking for any of that, I am smooth down there. I am sewn up. I, I have no genitals whatsoever. Once you said you're not ready for a relationship right now, what that implies to me is that you've already put us in a situation six months from now where I am ready for a relationship and you've been right there the whole time, you know, slow and steadying it up, trying to win that race. And it's, it's weird and it makes me and every other woman uncomfortable. I don't know if I'm talking to other women or men right now, but yeah, no, like, don't. Don't. My last relationship has completely changed me as an individual. All I want is safety. And so when I say I don't want to be in a relationship and you go, I understand you don't want to be in a relationship right now. You have anticipated. You have anticipated overstepping that boundary. You have anticipated in one way or another the boundary that I have set not being a thing anymore. And that fucks with me and that frustrates me. And yeah. And that's that's why I went off on that fucking guy in Walmart. And that's that's why that situation just really also I was bleeding on my pussy, but also because it's I had two really fat daughters that I'm trying to lead through Walmart. I'm just trying to like live my life and get food and I've got these fucking two fat daughters and that's what you are. When you slide into a woman's DM, you automatically become just a burden, just a big fat burden that I gotta take to school in the morning and I don't, I don't need that. You know, um, like my comedy page and follow my Instagram and um, Go like my YouTube page. And please, I'm producing a show September 29th at the PNH Cafe, uh, hosted by Richard Douglas Jones and Jawa Horn. I want to know, men, what do you say to women when you try to slide into their DMs? Are you honest? Do you pretend like you're not like other guys? What are your intentions when you talk to women? I really want to know. Tell me. And women, how do you feel when guys do that to you? Have you ever met Have you ever met any men who said, "I'm not like other guys" and actually weren't like other guys? The only guys I've ever met that weren't like other guys didn't have to say it because they were either gay or they just weren't like other guys and it wasn't even a question. So I want to know. Leave me some comments. Send me some messages. I want to know. Okay. Goodbye. Whoa.